As an event designer or planner, have you ever thought about starting a YouTube channel? I came up with a formula that really helps you get started so that way you're on the right track versus what I did was throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what stick. My YouTube formula starts with your why plus your problem, which equals the value you give your audience. Let's start off by understanding why you want to start a YouTube channel. I think a lot of people will skip this step. You have to be very clear on who you want to target when it comes to your channel and if you don't have clarity trust me <laughs> you won't be seen and you will confuse the heck out of YouTube on what you're known for a lot of event CEOs just like you have a lot of success and they build their business to a point where they want to expand and create multiple streams of income so the usually the first platform that people tend to choose is YouTube and usually you see all of these beginners and people who just all of a sudden come on the platform and then they blow up and you're like oh my goodness this is it this is what's going to solve my problem because usually my creative CEOs have a traffic problem and they want to expand their business to create multiple streams of income instead of just focusing on one and although the people you probably follow on YouTube including me hey <laughs> they blew up but I will tell you the views don't pay the bills it is a big misconception that when people have a lot of subscribers and thousands of views that they're getting paid really well well it's not the views that actually pay you it's the watch time and if you want to know more about that feel free to click that subscribe button where we'll dive in deep in future videos about what it takes to get paid on YouTube. So let's go back to the topic at hand. Why do you actually want to start a YouTube channel? I would love for you to sit, pause this video if you want, and create a list of at least 10 reasons why. All right, maybe not 10, at least five, okay? I got your attention though. At least three to five reasons why you wanna start a YouTube channel. If you have the ability to create an online business and your team is basically taking over the rest of your business and you're not needed there, starting a YouTube channel is definitely a great way to expand and scale your event business. And as you have clarity with your channel, your why now becomes the mission of your channel. Because once you have clarity, you know the driving force of what it takes to start a YouTube channel and have it soar to get in front of the people that you want to serve online. Are you with me? All right, good. Remember, the formula is we already identify the why. So let's now discuss the problem. Just like with any event business, YouTube is also a problem solver. And any successful entrepreneur knows in order to start a business and have it scale, you have to solve a problem for your clients. Well, the same holds true on YouTube. YouTube is a platform of solving problems. I want you to understand that. YouTube is a search engine and these are the things we have to understand before we get started because if you don't understand that you will get lost in the sauce here's my example think of youtube as this ginormous galaxy that we all live in right and your video is one of the stars in this galaxy and your goal is you want to be seen by earth or whatever planet in the galaxy but in order to do so you need to solve earth's problem well the same holds truth about your videos on youtube there are stars and millions and millions of stars in this galaxy world of youtube and your video will just be flicked into the universe and not be seen by anyone if you're not clear on your why and what problem you're solving. If we really truly think about it, if your video is not solving a problem for someone else, it will get drowned and tossed away and nobody will ever see it. So once you're clear with your why and you understand what problem you're solving for people on YouTube and what they're searching, that's a big one, we'll get there in future videos, your video will now get seen. The thing about YouTube is it is a search engine. It is owned by the number one search engine, which is Google. So it acts like a search engine and people go on YouTube platform to figure out how do I solve this problem? And if you're not solving their problem, they won't come to your video or they won't subscribe or even engage with your content. Thousands of videos are being made every single day, every single hour, every single second, every single moment. And you're competing with all of those uploads throughout this entire world. And if you want your star video to be seen by a planet, you have to make sure you're clear on why that planet should follow you. Now, okay, we won't talk about the galaxy and the planets and the stars, but I thought that was a pretty cool analogy. <laughs> 
instead i want you to understand how vast and big youtube is and just know that your video is going to be like a penny in the ocean and in order to float it up we have to cater to a specific audience the one thing i've done on my channel is tapped into my creative skill and what i do and my own zone of genius you as a creative ceo since you already have your event business and i know you're a creative person you really have to think about how can you stand out from the rest even if you're making content that someone else already made and because you're creative i already know you have the capabilities of doing so you just have to trust and tap into how can you creatively deliver content that truly speaks to an audience you want to serve so we got your why now we're at it the problem now let's get into delivering more value than actually selling i know you're a ceo first and that's why you're watching this channel and i want you to understand business is business is business and sales is the number one way to have a business you already know this however youtube is a lot different when it comes down to tapping into creating an online business with an audience and a community so you actually have to do the opposite you shouldn't really worry about sales first you should actually be worried about delivering value and creating an audience and community before you even have something to sell one of the biggest mistakes a lot of YouTubers make is that they go straight into selling, especially my higher end YouTubers. And there's nothing wrong with that. You have something to sell. Maybe they want it right away. But I want you to focus on creating community. I want you to focus on really truly delivering value for your audience. I don't care if you have one subscriber and I don't care if you have 100,000 subscribers. You want to cater to your audience in a way that's super valuable. I want you to over deliver so much and in a way that strategically makes people want to follow you because remember you're that star in the galaxy if you want to shine brighter than the other stars in the galaxy you have to give a person the reason why why should we follow you what problem are you solving for me and why should i trust anything you say because it takes a lot for an audience to click a subscribe button and this is something we have to understand when it comes to building a youtube channel not just where you're going when it comes to an online space but building an audience, a community that is ready to buy once you're ready to sell. Another thing YouTubers make, especially in the event industry, is that they'll start the YouTube channel with no direction as to how to nurture an audience, let alone have something to sell, right? A lot of people will blow up on this platform, but a lot of their videos have gone viral and they have no way of selling something for their audience. As a creative CEO, you wanna take them on your journey. You have something you can share with your audience. You already have a successful business. You already have something that people are intrigued about. So why not take them on the journey of your business? That's a great start into delivering value of what it took to get to where you are now. Plus, no one likes to be sold to, so be mindful of that when you're first starting your YouTube channel. And if you want to hear my story, feel free to click this link right here, and I hope to see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Continue designing your dreams to reality, and I'll catch you in the next video.